Why can't we drill Yellowstone to stop eruptions and make power? It's a common question. Why not just drill into Yellowstone to relieve the pressure? And it seems like a reasonable idea given the way that magma chambers are often depicted, as caverns of expanding liquid magma that just need to be tapped, like letting air out of a balloon. Magma reservoirs are much more complex than this simple depiction, however. Instead of huge balls of liquid magma, they are a mushy mix of rock, melt, crystals, and various fluids and gases, with poor interconnectivity and often no sharp boundary between the reservoir and the surrounding rock. Yellowstone provides an excellent example. Seismic imaging techniques, like taking an MRI of the Earth, have revealed two huge magma reservoirs beneath the caldera system, one at 5 to 17 kilometers, 3 to 10.5 miles, beneath the surface, and a deeper one at 20 to 50 kilometers, 12.5 to 31 miles. The speed of seismic waves through these reservoirs suggests that they are mostly solid, the upper reservoir appears to be only 5 to 15% molten, and the deeper 2 to 5% molten. Pressure within this type of system is not like air in a balloon and it cannot be easily dissipated by poking a hole, or even a hundred holes, into the complex structure. Within a magmatic system, pressure accumulates because magma and associated fluids are accumulating. It would be as if a balloon were filling with mostly solid cement, with some poorly connected regions that were wet and contained some gases. Poking a hole in that balloon would not cause the cement to disappear, nor would it reach all parts of the poorly connected, wet, part of the system. Moreover, the drill holes intended to tap the gases in a magma reservoir would plug shut with dense taffy-like magma without constant intervention. <laughs> 